mortgage rates, especially in 2023 and 2024, were very, very, very competitive. They should not have been as low as they were. And a lot of that is attributable to the carry trade because you're able to expand your yield as a bank using that vehicle. Even after the hedging and everything is done, you're able to actually make that up. But rather than make that up to increase you know, your margins necessarily, it's to keep your margins stable and offer a competitive rate that people will still get because if they had actually increased mortgage rates to where they should have been, then nobody would have bought a house. So, Effectively leaving the, you know, Japan's rate as a cap on the top end of U.S. rates. So if you look yeah, at the, exactly. the yeah. upper echelons of the yield curve, Japan's rates help suppress those yields. So otherwise, you know, we would have seen, you know, seen like 8%, ten... 9% mortgages. Yeah, we would have seen the 10 year well above 5%. We would have seen a significant, uh, significantly larger amount of risk within GSIB structure. I mean, this is, you know, this is global banking, this is um, global, global currency trades. These are huge, huge trades.